Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mill Run and Western Maryland Railway, and today I'm going to show you how to make an easy coal load in a gondola. So hop on, let's check it out. One of the big industries that's on my layout is the coal mine. So naturally I have a lot of hopper cars. Some are loaded and some are empty. But as I continue to collect rolling stock, however, I'm finding I have a lot more empties than loaded. So today I'm going to share with you how I make an easy coal load out of a simple piece of styrofoam, some paint, and some charcoal ashes. So the car we're going to use today is this a and Gondola. This is a pretty popular freight car and comes with most starter sets, so most everybody's going to have one of these. We'll start with our simple piece of styrofoam. We're going to take the freight car and press it down into the styrofoam to get a clear indentation so we know where to cut with our exacto knife. Now I can see my lines and I know where to cut. So now I take my knife and I saw through this. Now a little bit of a disclaimer here, usually I would use like the insulation foam board like you would use to build your layout on top of. However, since I'm trying to display that you can make these coal loads out of little or nothing, that's why I'm using just a regular piece of styrofoam. It is a little harder to work with, but it's more common, so that's why I'm using it for this particular video. Once I finish cutting the styrofoam, I break away the piece that we're going to use for our coal load. Once I get my fingers cleaned off, I break off any loose edges and pieces flaking off. Kind of make it a smooth surface. And I'm going to test fit it in our car. As you can see, it's just a little bit too big. It will fit, but it's going to require too much pressure to get it down in there. So we're going to trim the edges a little bit to make it fit a little bit easier. And make more of a mess. And there we have it. It fits nicely down inside the car. So the next step is we're going to paint our base for our coal load. As you can see, I just use a simple acrylic paint. This particular paint is a flat finish. So once it, dry, once it dries, it's not going to have any kind of shimmer or shine to it, which is kind of what I want for this. The charcoal ashes that I use, uh, that we will use later on, will give it any kind of shimmer or anything like coal would have. This is just for the base and I'm going to go ahead and paint the whole entire piece. That way, you know, we don't have to worry about what's the top, what's the bottom, and we don't have any white showing. So you're going to take as much paint all the way around this thing and cover up anything white. So you don't have anything showing through. It's not going to take away from your coal load at any angle. And that's why I'm going to go ahead and just paint the whole thing. So while we're waiting on the paint to dry, this is what I use for my coal. It's actually ashes from my charcoal grill. They ended up being the perfect size and consistency for my coal loads. And to top it off, it's pretty easy to work with, which makes it nice. All right, so moving on, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use some regular school glue. Yep, this is just regular white Elmer school glue and we're going to take a little brush and spread this out onto our load base. Now you're gonna to wanna to try to get this out, spread out nice and even, 
cover the whole base that way our coal has something to stick to no matter where it falls and I'm gonna get it on the top mainly I'm gonna put some on the side so that way as it rolls off the sides it'll stick to it as you can see my glue turned black pretty quick the paint wasn't quite as dry as I thought it was Next, we'll be spreading our charcoal ash onto the load base. The next few steps are just like what I did in my ballasting video, which I will link in the description, as well as at the end of the video. Once I get a good base spread out, I start to add mounds of coal towards the center of the load to make it appear like the gondola was loaded by a chute. This will add character and realism to the whole project. Next we're going to take our eyedropper and some isopropyl alcohol and we're going to apply a thin layer across our coal load. This will release the surface tension and allow our 50-50 white glue water mixture to soak in so that way we get a nice solid material out of this coal load. Okay, so we're almost done. Now we're going to take our 50-50 water white glue mixture and then apply it to our coal load. I always get a little carried away when I put my glue on so unlike what I do in this video put it on a little bit at a time. Now as you can see as it sits here you can watch the glue just flow through this and this is great because once it dries this is all going to be one solid piece so it's not going to flake it's not going to fall apart and it's not going to blow away if you sneeze. It's all going to stay there. So this is going to be one solid piece and make a great coal load. Okay, now it's the moment we've been waiting for. We're going to take our load now that it's nice and dry. And we're going to install it in our gondola. The advantage to making this out of that styrofoam is that it's a little bit flexible. So it is able to just bend it in there and it fits nice and tight. So there it is, our finished coal load. A piece of styrofoam, some charcoal ashes, some glue, and there it be. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Here you can see the mounds that I was speaking about, the putting in the center of the load, which adds a lot of character to it. It's a, the load sits above the edges in places and below the edges on the side, so it's perfectly proportioned. So hopefully you found this process to be fairly simple and that it will inspire you to make your own coal loads. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and check out my ballasting video too. So until next time, I'm Chris with the Mill Run and Western Maryland Railway. Thank you for watching.